and we are in line one. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. And so the Songs of Korah is using this imagery of a deer panting for water. And why does a deer pant for water? Them little things can run so fast. And as fast as they run through the wilderness and stuff like that, they're going to be tired and they're going to, what, be seeking water to quench their thirst because they're always, you know, darting all over the place and running so fast. All right. So, and that's how um, they're saying that their soul feels, okay, that their soul is pretty much panting for God. All right. And then, and so we, this is not in our uh, part of our reference scripture, but you know, it's like, we, it seems like almost every other Psalm, and I've said this before, that we always have to go to the Sermon on the Mount because Jesus talks about so much of the things that, um, uh, that David and the other Psalmists have been talking about. Um, so, I mean, Matthew 5, 6, where it says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are those who, th who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And then this brings me in thinking about to what, um, what Jesus, this dialogue that Jesus had with the woman at the well. All right, in John 4, and we, you know, let's look at that for a minute and see uh, how this relates to what we're talking about. Okay, so we're in John 4, and so Jesus comes on the scene, and he says that if, um, he said, then the woman of Samaria, excuse me, let's go up to 7, John 4, 7. A woman of Samaria came to draw water, Jesus said to her, give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, how is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself as well as his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered and said to her, who ever drinks of this water will thirst again but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. And the woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, Go call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one you, whom you now have is not your husband. And that you spoke truly. And then the woman said to him, sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is a place where one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for our salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And if we flip to John 7, 37. 
it explains to us what Jesus meant about the living water. John 7, 37, it says, On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Profound, profound. And here it is in Psalm 42 that the songs of chorus saying, As a deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? When shall we come and appear before God? When we have to, just like that woman at the well, we appear before God when we need what? Restoration. When we need salvation. And we need to what? Be exposed of our sins so that once we empty ourselves out and confess that sin, then we're able to be filled again with that righteousness, with that living water, with the Holy Spirit. All right? And so when we um, come back in the next segment, we're going to go through those reference scriptures pertaining to my soul thirst for God. <laughs> 